What's Christmas about? Christmas? <laughs> Christmas is about a new birth. Okay. All right? A birth yeah, okay. that brings love into the world, right? And so usually I base the message on the nativity story. And that's that, and actually that's what we base our charities on. We always have charity for women, charity for children, charity for animals, and a charity for the outcasts of the world. Because that's what was going on in that stable in Bethlehem. But you know, sometimes people who are Muslim or Jewish or Buddhist, they think I'm leaving them out of the Christmas message. Or atheist, you know. So, instead of basing the Christmas message on the nativity story, this year I'm going to base it on Shakespeare. <laughs> because, yeah, yeah, because he's our greatest writer, right? I mean, you don't stay number one for 450 years without having something to say that people trust, right? Yeah. And so when people think about, well, well, when they think about happy Shakespeare, you know, the, 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 when they think about the comedies, you know, uh, they think about the comedy as you like it. Because they remember all the, you know, these confused lovers who end up marrying the right person and frolicking through the forest of Arden. You know, at the end of a Shakespeare comedy, everybody is laughing and dancing and living happily ever after. Except Jaquees. You know the character of Jaquees? Jaquees is the character in As You Like It who separates himself and observes everybody's happiness and makes snide comments about the happiness. And Jaquees thinks he's smarter than everybody else and he enjoys everybody's mistakes. He's a sarcastic little fuck. And the main reason we remember him at all is that he makes that one famous speech, All the World's a Stage. He makes that speech, which, let's face it, that is a fucking depressing there speech, you, go, you know. Kid. And then at the end of the play, when everybody is all happy and fulfilled and in love, they say, come on, Jaquees, dance with us in the Forest of Arden. We forgive all those snide comments. Just join the community. And Jaquees says, nope, don't care. I'm going to sit over here and be depressed as usual. I'm not joining your club or any club. Jaquees is a Twitter troll. 400 years before Twitter <laughs> existed. So he gets his whole identity from being hated and rejected. And the implication is that no matter how much love and forgiveness and charity and community gets introduced into the world, there's always going to be this one guy waiting for it to fall apart and loving it when it does fall apart. All right. So what do we normally say to that guy? We say, okay, suit yourself. Good luck with that. Right in your own private hell. We don't care. We're back here, huh? What is that was so fast. And by extension, did you see how fast she went? Baby Jesus on Christmas site regarding that guy. We have to, see, we have to know the answer to that question because there's lots of Jaquezes in our culture these days. We breed them like rabbits. We have all kinds of toxic things that make people crave rejection and crave ostracism because it makes them feel alive. So it's easier to be Jaquez than to seek acceptance. And so. When they hear that go rot in your own private hell message, they think, yes, that's exactly what I want to do, and I will enjoy that. <laughs> but what does Jesus say? He says, you're part of us, Jaquees. You're part of the community, whether you like it or not, and we know you'll never admit it. We know you'll never come close to us. We will not try to coerce you into joining us, but that door is always open, and the community is always waiting for you, even if you die in total isolation. If you die in total isolation, we will mourn you. And we will love you even then. In other words, what you're supposed to say to Jaquees is, we love you more than we love the others because you need to love more. That's what you do with Jaquees at Christmas. You save his life. And that's what we need to do today. Open that door to the haters. Tell them they can come in whenever they feel like it. And all of their past comments will be instantaneously forgiven and forgotten over in an instant, you know? Fuck. Fuck. You know, just like the world changed in an when the baby Jesus was born. So, I got the nativity story back in there. I was supposed to stay on Shakespeare. But anyway, no. let me just do two things here. It's not Florida. I'm just oh, fucking felt so Before we get started on the brain, okay? Oh, holy crap. The first is, <laughs> the, first, the first thing I want to do, I'm going to introduce the t-shirt, because a lot, of, a lot of people cannot participate in the auction, because in recent years, the bid prices have become insane. And thank you for that. All right, so, and good for the, that's good for the charities. It's not so good for group participation. So that's where Frat Rags comes in. They created some uh, collector's items, 